Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. Thank you for joining me. Now, today we're going to talk about the first night of the DNC that was held last night at the United Center up in Chicago. And it was a really good night, especially if you're a Democrat. There was a lot of great speeches. A lot of people had a lot of good stuff to say about Kamala Harris. We learned a lot about her, about her upbringing, and about her history. As someone who stands up for the, you know, the marginalized, the stand up for those that are being bullied. And isn't that just great, considering who she's running against? Now, if you ask me, Kamala Harris is going to be a, a great presidential nominee, and I think she'll be a great president. Um, hopefully, she wins this November. But we had some really great speeches last night. Hillary Clinton gave a good speech, you know, kind of zinged Donald Trump a number of times. Um, Reverend Warnock, the senator from Georgia, gave a just a, an amazing speech, if you ask me. And I think he should be at every Democratic um, event from here until the the election. Because Warlock gave a great speech last night. Now, there were some problems that I noticed throughout the night. There were a lot of problems with the teleprompters and people getting hung up on it. And it happened over and over again. And it's, it's kind of... Bad, right? But that was the worst thing I saw all night. You had women that gave speeches about what they went through dealing with a a pregnancy that wasn't going to come to term. Or they almost died because of it. Because of this the, the Roe ban that Donald Trump helped facilitate and he has bragged about. Women who wanted their children, but unfortunately miscarried. And they had, and there was one girl who said she was raped at 12 years old. And discussed how she was able to have that available to her when that happened to her. And now she will fight, she wants to fight, so it, that... So women have that ability in the future. But of course, you had a number of people that gave speeches last night. Jill Biden, um, Ashley Biden, um, Biden's granddaughter, I believe it is, gave a speech about, about Joe Biden. And then the close out the night was a rather fiery speech by Joe Biden himself as he passed the torch, as it were. And it was a sad, it was sad to see. Because the man has done nothing but fight for this country. For somewhere around 50 years? Between being the House of Representatives, a senator, vice president, president? The man has done nothing but fight for this country and fight for the workers of this country and fight for the middle class. What I saw last night from Joe Biden was leadership, true leadership. He could have sat there and made it all about himself. About what he had given up. He could have made it about the sacrifices he had to make for this country, but he didn't. He started off by thanking his wife and talking about his wife and talking about his granddaughter. He showed true leadership. And he fought back against some of the criticisms that he's been getting from Donald Trump and J.D. Vance. It was a great speech and a great night. Now tonight, I'm not too sure about that. Night two, there's some great speakers that I see coming up. Because we'll have Michelle Obama and Barack Obama speaking tonight. I think Tim Walls is supposed to speak, or is supposed to speak tonight as well. And that's going to be great. But the one person that I wish they would scratch 
is Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton should not be speaking to the Democratic Convention in a post-Me Too world. Not only is it terrible optics, because yes, that's a, that's an issue, but Bill Clinton is a terrible person who has done terrible things to women for decades. You can say there's a lot he did to his, his wife and his daughter with, he, with having that affair, especially in such public view. What he did to them was terrible. But then all the things that have come out since even 2010 about Bill Clinton is disgusting. There are a lot of things we didn't hear about before his election as president. There are things he did that were absolutely repulsive and should, have, should ban him from anything having to do with the Democratic Party. Especially in a post-Me Too world. I don't think he should get to speak. I don't think he should have been invited to speak. We should be moving on, moving pat, you know, beyond the past. I saw something that S.E. Cup over at um, CNN had to say about Democrats supporting this idea of Bill Clinton speaking at tonight's DNC. And I'm kind of sad that the Democratic Party allowed it to happen. It shouldn't be happening. But overall, I think the DNC is going really well. I think people are going to tune out when Bill Clinton signs in or comes up there on the, you know, to talk. You know, they may hang around for, you know, Michelle and Barack. You know, people with a moral compass. But he shouldn't have got to speak. I'm sorry. As for the rest of the week, who knows what's going to happen, what will be said over the next few days. Yesterday, there were some problems with Palestine, you know, pro-Palestinian protesters. I fully understand what they're, they're protesting. I get it. But also, Harris has had a conversation with them. She met with them and discussed that she what she intends to do. And then she talked about it afterwards to the press that she will pressure Israel to cease fire, to a ceasefire immediately. So I hope these people start to listen because they really made a mess of, of logistics for people yesterday. And I understand you're trying to get your point across. I'm right there with you. I completely understand that you want to cease fire right this second. I do too. I've wanted to cease fire since I, I realized that Israel was lying, you know, about the 10th of October of last year. And I understand 40,000 innocent people have been killed by the IDF. But I don't think protesting somebody who has said they're going to do, she's going to do everything she can to make it stop. Whose current boss, basically, Joe Biden, is currently working to get a, a ceasefire done as we speak. We'll talk about more about that in a later video. Anyways, I hope you're ready for night two of the Democratic National Convention. If you're able to watch it, um, I hope you're able to catch some of the good speakers and stuff. Um, it's over on TikTok. If you have a TikTok, it'll be on YouTube. It'll be you know, on YouTube Live. It'll be on pretty much every news channel except for Fox News probably. 
Um, but it, it will be available to watch. I believe it starts at 8 o'clock our time here in Oklahoma, which is 8 Central. Um, all right. I'll see you down the road. Y'all have a great day.